Hi everyone, Miss Janine here, your grade 7 science teacher. For our today's science tutorial, we will discuss the four different seasons. Are you ready to learn with me? Let's start! Have you heard of the word season? Well, most of us know that this pertains to winter, spring, summer, and fall. These are the different seasons that we all know. But, can you explain how seasons are formed? To explain that, let us first discuss what a season is. Season is the period of the year that is usually characterized by a particular kind of weather. There are lots of planets in the solar system. But of course, the most important planet for us is the Earth, which is the planet where we live in. Each planet revolved around the Sun in the pathway called as the orbit. You have learned that the Earth rotates on its axis, which is tilted at 23.5 degrees from a line perpendicular to Earth's ecliptic. The Earth completes one full rotation in its axis every 24 hours. This period of rotation corresponds to the length of one day on Earth. The Earth is always pointing to one side as it goes around the Sun. When the side of the Earth points towards the Sun, we experience daytime, while when it points away from the Sun, we experience nighttime. Our planet completes its one revolution around the Sun in 365 and one fourth days, which corresponds to the length of one year. The varying amounts of sunlight received by Earth during different times of the year creates seasons. The start of the season in hemispheres is distinguished by solstices and equinoxes. We are going to begin with the two solstices. Let us take a look at the position of the Earth during summer solstice. In summer solstice, the northern hemisphere receives the most direct sunlight. It occurs June each year. The South Hemisphere experiences the winter solstice during that time. The daytime is longer than nighttime during this period. On the other hand, this is how the Earth looks like during winter solstice. The Northern Hemisphere receives the least direct sunlight. It occurs December each year. Longer nighttime can be experienced during this period. Generally, the South Hemisphere receives the most direct sunlight, which means that it is the beginning of the summer solstice in that region. On two occasions each year, the Earth's orbital position is such that the sun shines equally on both hemispheres. These are equinoxes. The spring equinox, also called the vernal equinox, is the season where the North Pole starts to change from being pointed toward to being pointed away from the sun. It occurs around March each year. An opposite of that is the autumnal equinox. This is when the North Pole starts to change from being pointed away to being pointed toward the sun. It occurs around September each year. During spring and autumnal equinoxes, the day and night periods are of the same length throughout the globe, since the sunlight falls equally on both hemispheres. Again, the four different seasons on the Earth are the summer solstice, winter solstice, spring equinox, and autumnal equinox. The question now is why does the Philippines have only two seasons? Why don't we have all four? People living near the equator, like us Filipinos, do not experience four seasons in the same way as people living in the middle latitudes, mainly because the sun's rays are nearly perpendicular to this area in spite of the tilt of the Earth's axis. Instead, one portion of the year tends to have more rains, while the other tends to be drier. This explains why the Philippines has only two seasons, the dry season and wet season. 
The dry season is characterized by hot and cloudless days, dry with occasional rain showers, and it occurs between December to May. In contrary, the wet season is characterized by rainy season with thunderstorms, air is hot and humid, and it occurs between June to November. That's it! Let's have a quick recap. In this video, we discuss the season. The four different seasons are the following. Summer solstice, winter solstice, spring equinox, and autumn equinox. The seasons in the Philippines are the dry season and wet season. Now, let's try answering a 5-item quiz about season. You have a minute to answer. Good luck! Time's up! Let's check if your answers are correct. That's the end of our science tutorial. I hope that you've learned a lot and see you soon. Thank you for watching!